CV Raman. Please subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon to get new video updates. CV Raman, an Indian physicist, received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930 for discovering the Raman effect. He was born November 7, 1888, in Tiruchirappalli. Raman was born into a Tamil Brahmin family. Chandrasekhara Ramanathan Ayya was his father and he was a physics and mathematics professor and Parvati Ammal was the name of his mother. He came from an eight sibling family. C.V. Raman also known as Chandrasekhara Venkata Raman was a well-known physicist who made significant discoveries in the study of light scattering. Raman was an excellent student. After Raman finished his matriculation at the age of 11, his parents sent him to a foreign nation to pursue further education. After passing his BA exam in 1904, he enrolled in Madras Presidency College in 1902. After winning the gold medal in physics in 1907, he graduated with honors in MA. Raman published his first scientific paper on asymmetrical diffraction bands due to a rectangular aperture in a British journal when he was 18 years old. The NCST National Council for Science and Technology Communication requested in 1986 that February 28 be designated as National Science Day in India. The Indian government approved the request and as a result, February 28 is now officially observed as National Science Day in India. In 1986, the Indian government established February 28th as National Science Day. He also awarded Bharararna in the year 1954. In a specific field of science, Raman was the first Asian to receive a Nobel Prize. Some of the light that is deflected changes in wavelength. This phenomena is now called Raman scattering and is the result of the Raman effect. Raman explained that the ocean's blue color resulted from sunlight being scattered by water molecules. In 1933, Raman became the director of the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. In 1943, he founded Raman Research Institute at the same site. One day, Raman said to the younger generation, Treat me right and you will see the light. Treat me wrong and you will be gone. Don't allow the journals of the academy to perish, for they are the sensitive indicators of the quality of science being done in the country and whether science is taking root in it or not. Only two days before he died, he gave a warning to one of his students. On May 6, 1907, Raman married Dr. Sundari Ammal when she was 13 years old. On November 21, 1917, he suffered a heart attack and died at the age of 82. Thank you.